Hello, my name is Jessica, also known as Hey Gorgeous, and you may know me from my website, HeyGorgeous.com, where I talk about natural hair, health, beauty, and God. And today I'm going to show you how I finger detangle my hair. So a lot of you might know about detangling and how to you know, get the knots out. You might not know about finger detangling. I only learned about this about a year ago. I used to detangle with combs and be really rough on my hair, and I had no idea that it can really cause a lot of breakage. So the reason you finger detangle is because the comb, when it goes through your hair, it doesn't catch all the knots, it'll just yank the knots out, and then you'll get split ends, and then your hair won't grow as much. Um, but when you finger detangle, you're literally using your fingers, as the word explains, and then you just put your hand through it, and then you can catch the knots and take them out carefully instead of breaking your hair. So after I started finger detangling, my hair grew so much more than when I was using combs. And now I literally don't even have combs. I threw them out. I don't have one in my house at all. So um, I really suggest this if you have the patience, because um, it does take a lot more time, but it's really worth it. So um, the only thing you need to finger detangle is um, I use Trust Me Naturals Conditioner. Um, it's not all natural, but it is pretty natural. And I love this because it is um, really affordable. It's only like $5. And um, it makes your hair really soft and it has a lot of slip. And slip is that feeling that when you put in the conditioner, your hair just feels really soft and easy to go through. So it makes my hair so much easier to detangle. And then I do this in the shower, but obviously I can't bring the camera in the shower. So um, right now I'm just gonna use a water bottle with water in it um, to spray my hair. So um, I'll just show you right now. So you put a generous amount on your hair. It's a funny sound. So a generous amount and you just saturate your hair with it. And this section actually is a little bit too big so I'm going to separate it. I don't do it in any like orderly way. I just do it in like with small sections. And then make sure your hair is saturated because you're going to be in a shower. so. And then you start from the ends, and you just rake your fingers through your hair. So I'm getting all the tangles out. And then of course you are going to get shedding, but not nearly as much as you do with a comb. And then you just move up. Here, like I'm getting a little bit of knots. If I was using the comb, I would have just yanked through it with my hand, but go slowly and feel the knots. Like another knot. So you just take it apart gently. This way you won't get hardly any split ends. I only have to cut my hair like twice a year now, as opposed to like twice like every other month basically. Another knot. Just go all the way up. Getting the knots. And now I'm up to the root. And the root is where I have a lot of knots sometimes. So you gotta be careful up there. And if you ever feel like you don't have enough product, you just add to it and it'll make it easier to detangle. Alright, so I basically went through the whole thing. I just go through it again to make sure I got all of them. See, I still have some more. So my hair gets really tangled, so it takes a while. And that's pretty good. And so there, I got mostly all the tangles out. I might have missed a few, but pretty much all of them are out. And in total, it takes me about 20 minutes, so by the time I'm done with my hair, the water in the shower is cold, and my arms are tired, but it really is worth it. I used to be super impatient with my hair, and like just yank the comb throughout my hair and everything, but my hair, like I said, it's grown a lot, I've really seen a difference in it, so I totally recommend it. It's worth the time, and you'll see a huge difference, and um, this side I already detangled, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but... Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, you can leave me comments. You can email me at jessica.pagorges.com or you can visit my website for more information.